Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Blackburn here. Um, I, the today's story that I have for you was written by Patricia Polacco. It's called Mrs. Cat and Tush. It is a Fountas and Pinnell book and uh, published by Heinemann. Uh, Patricia Polacco is one of my favorite authors, so I was really excited to see this in our um, list of books to read. I have a question for you. Do you have uh, think that people need to be a lot alike to become really close friends? And what's your opinion on that? Um, let's think about that question as we read today's book. It's about a pair of somewhat unlikely friends both of whom I think you'll find very likable. The name of the story is Mrs. Katz and Tush, like I said, and um, again, written by one of my very favorite authors, Patricia Polacco. Larnell didn't know Mrs. Katz very well, but almost every other day, his mother stopped in to see her after work. Since her husband died, she's so alone, his mother had told him. Mrs. Katz held tight to his mother's hand the day they looked at an old photo album. That's my husband, Myron, said Mrs. Katz. He came from Poland like me a long time ago. We had such a life, such a life. Then her voice broke. We had no children, and I'll be all alone for Hanukkah and Passover. Then she cried. So Hanukkah and Passover are Jewish holidays. Um, look at Lar Larnell's uh, posture here. So there's Mrs. Katz over here. Oops, over here. And so here's Larnell. There's Larnell right there. So look at his posture. And... Uh, the lady that he hardly knows at all is crying. So what do you think Larnell is feeling right now? Just by looking at his posture. The next day, Larnell stopped in to see her himself. I've been thinking, he said, a cat had some kittens in the basement of our building. We found someone to take them all except this one. She's the runt. Nobody wants her because she is so ugly. She doesn't even have a tail. Ugly, you say, Mrs. Cat said. My Myron was ugly too when he was little. But he grew up to be such a person. Mrs. Katz looked at the little kitten. Scrawny little Babela. So small, no tail. She said it as she examined the kitten closely. I don't know, she said doubtfully. Then she saw the look on Larnell's face. Lar Larnell, I'll take her, she announced. But only if you'll come and help me with her. I've never had a cat before, Larnell promised. A good Yiddish name I'll give her, said Mrs. Katz. Let's see, she has no tail. All you see is her tush. That's it, we'll call her tush. Little Tush grew healthy and strong. Mrs. Katz cooked for her, brushed her, knitted toys for her, and even read to her. Such a person, she'd say as she watched Tush play. Mrs. Katz was in love. You can tell by the look on her face, can't you? See how happy she is? Larnell kept his promise. He visited Mrs. Katz and Tush every day after school. There was always a fresh baked kugel and tall glass of milk waiting for him. But as much as he grew to love Tush, 
He also loved to listen to Mrs. Katz talk about the old country and the way times used to be. I come from Warsaw. That's in Poland, you know. I came here to work sewing dresses in the garment district for my cousin, Moishe. I didn't speak one word of English. Then how did you talk to people, asked Larnell. I didn't, she answered. A lot, I cried in those days, until I met Myron. He asked me to marry him after he tasted my kugel. I believe that, Larnell said as he ate some. Myron and I used to vacation in the Catskills, a borscht resort, you know, a place for Jews to stay. You mean Jews couldn't stay anywhere they wanted to? Larno asked. Mrs. Katz didn't answer. Instead, she went to a trunk and pulled out some old clothes. My grandma told me about places she couldn't stay either, Larnell said softly. Larnell, your people and mine are alike, you know. Trouble, we've seen. Happiness, too. Great strength we've had. You and I are alike. So much alike. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, the Catskills. We used to dress every Sunday and have a costume ball, said Mrs. Katz. Then she put a record on the record player. I was old, it was old and scratched. You hear that, Larnell? She said. That is what we used to dance to. It's a dance from my homeland. Here, I'll show you. They whirled around the room and laughed and giggled. Okay, so I want you to look at this illustration and I want you to tell me or think about some adjectives to describe it. Okay, so if you remember what an adjective is, an adjective is a word that describes a noun. So like hairy or scary or ordinary, which really wouldn't be very good adjectives for this picture. However, I want you to think of some adjectives. So if we think of adjectives to describe Mrs. Katz in this picture, kind of makes us get a different viewpoint of Mrs. Katz, doesn't it? What are some good ones? Jovial, silly, she even looks a little uh, limber, <laughs> yeah. Spunky. See what adjectives you can come up with.